Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. We're in our F14B and we're going through the process of measuring its credentials, its various uh, speeds and rates and whatnot. And today we're looking at maximum altitude. We're looking first of all at the max sustainable altitude, otherwise known as service ceiling of the aircraft. And then we're going to look at the maximum instantaneous altitude attainable by the aircraft. Uh, then at the end of the video we're going to get those results and compare it to all of the others in DCS or all of the fast jets and, uh, and have a bit of a chat about it. So let's talk about the parameters, then the method, and then we'll get on with it. So parameters, uh, i just go through our usual stuff. It's 29.92 inches mercury Q in H. Uh, Imperial, it is 20 degrees C. Ground level, we are on 10% of gas and there is no fuel burn rate in this aircraft. We are as clean as we can possibly get in terms of pylon removal and stores removal. So we're in optimal configuration. Now, regards ceiling, it's not the same as the official ceiling method for uh, real aircraft. They have to, I believe, sustain a speed and a, in a increase in a constant in increase in altitude of 100 or 1,000 feet per minute. I can't w work out which it is. Anyway, that's a bit beyond me to do that in all these aircraft. So all I'm going to do is find the maximum sustainable altitude, first of all, of this aircraft. So that means uh, an altitude where the speed is kind of approaching the stall limit of the aircraft, but at which I can sustain for more than five minutes, which might as well be, you know, forever or until, until the fuel could run out. Um, so that's that. In terms of predictions, it will be higher, uh, I imagine, than the actual real aircraft because I can run on fumes because this is a, not a real aircraft and the real F-14 obviously couldn't run on fumes. Uh, we should be able to get it pretty accurate because we can just run for hundreds and hundreds of miles here we're not having to worry about gas so we'll do that then we'll compare that uh, then we are going to do the instantaneous which is the maximum that we can attain in an instant now we're going to do it to keep it fair test amongst these other aircraft we're going to do it in exactly the same method of the others which is to get to the the aircraft's max uh, kinetic energy uh, which looking at my notes is 1394 knots at 75 thousand feet ASL and then we're going to do our climb with about 20 to 30 percent of back stick uh, to keep it uniform with the others and see how high we can get it hopefully we won't have any problems with engine flame out and whatnot but it is obviously going to be a realistically made model so that may be a real thing we're just gonna have to see how it goes so let's get on with it let's find our maximum sustainable altitude burners on up we go Okay, 60,000. Now, I'm not actually sure what the official figure for this is. Everywhere I look, it just says, uh, if I look in Wikipedia, it just says above 50,000 feet uh, for the maximum official service ceiling. I've seen in a book 65,000 feet, even though I've already done the maximum speed test and that, got, that was done at sustained 75,000 feet. So what is the actual maximum altitude? I'm really interested. I know it's going to be weird. And the reason I say that is because the maximum speed we've got at 75,000 feet. Whether that's accurate or not, I have no idea. I don't know if anyone knows. Um, but I just know this is going to be interesting. Uh, anyway, let's carry on. Right, we're bopping along completely happily here at 90,000 feet, which to me sounds completely unrealistic. I mean, this is cruise altitude for an SR-71 at uh, Mach 3, as far as I'm aware. So I don't know how we're managing to do it. Uh, we should also do a speed check up here, but I don't think we'll beat our previous speed. Uh, anyway, let's uh, push it to the limit. Over 90,000 feet. Okay, our angle of attack is getting very high now. We're at 10 degrees, and bearing in mind our wings are back, that is probably actually quite a high alpha that we're doing. Um, yeah, you see it doesn't look particularly happy, but let's keep going. Uh, also, the aileron is starting to, the roll is starting to get unstable at this point. I'm having to work hard to keep it going, but everything's still going, so let's uh, push on. 95,000, bopping along quite happily. 11 angle of attack, starting to struggle a bit now. 12 and a half degrees angle of attack, and we're getting up to 100,000 feet sustainable, which is... Uh, uh, interesting to say the least but let's keep going i think the technique is just going to be to tease it up very slowly rather than um pushing it up hard now the interesting thing is we're going so fast and any other plane nearing their max ceiling of 50 or 60 thousand feet will be slowing down this just keeps getting well not faster but it's still bloody fast what is our mac here it's um i don't know i can't actually i haven't been in this plane long enough to read that gauge so let's just ignore i said that uh, anyway, let's just keep going and see what happens. We must be, you know, near our top speed of Mach 2.4. 14 degrees angle of attack at 98,000 feet. And the engines are doing... The engines, you probably haven't heard it, but they're going a bit weird. But they're still going. 99,000 feet. 100,000 feet. Uncharted territory here. 
She's very unstable at this point. You probably can't see it, but I'm um, having to concentrate hard to stop her falling over. Uh, 100, 1,000 feet. 15 degrees angle of attack. So uh, she is very unhappy at the moment. But we must push on in the name of science. Oh, she's starting to topple over. Come on. I think this might be it. 100 to 101. I mean, I've got some kind of oscillation going on now. No, she's still going. She's not giving up. The speed is just about sustainable, so... No, I think we're going to lose it. I don't think I can get it any higher than this. Oh, that's a flame out. That's a flame out. I could feel that. As we got just above 100,000 feet, we started to settle just under 101,000 feet. The plane just started going really weird. It started rocking side to side, and I didn't really have any control of it. And I was kind of getting a bit of kind of jumping back and forwards. You probably couldn't detect that. Um, and then um, that was it. One of the engines went, and that's it. So that, that is as high as you can get in a sustain. So it's, uh, let's say, 100,000 feet between friends that we could... Um, that we could sustain there um which is weird but anyway we'll talk about that in a minute and what we're going to do now is when we go back we're going to get to our maximum speed which is oh god it was uh, seventy-five thousand feet at the maximum speed then we're going to pull up and see if we can get any higher than this 100,000 feet we should do just due to you know uh basic physics but let's give it a go okay we've got to seventy-five thousand feet so i think we're pretty much maxed out there so we're going to go for a pull now i have no idea what's going to happen let's just um see and hope for the best I get the feeling we're just going to flame out again at 100,000 and, well, we'll see. So that's 10 degrees pitch. Uh, yes, that is 10 degrees pitch, isn't it? Of actual climb, I mean. 10 degrees climb. That's 20 degrees climb, so that will be the same as we did the other aircraft. Roughly speaking. 90,000. Engines are going weird, I can hear it, can you hear it? And there they go. Right, so, just potential energy now, or kinetic energy, mechanical energy, I can never tell which is which. Okay, that's gonna make it hard. Okay, we're fine, don't you worry about a thing. We're stalling. 101, 105, I can't control that, I'm afraid. I've lost hydraulics, and something's going really weird, ah! Stop! Don't do what you're doing! Keep climbing. Just keep climbing is all I care about right now. Uh, -hoo 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 -hoo. Look at that! <laughs> oh, it's just going down. Um, that was unexpected. I ain't gonna lie. That was... Um, that's a thing, isn't it? Well, that was... Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw 109,000 feet. And... Unless... I don't think you're going any higher than that. That was weird. And it felt completely unrealistic to me, but obviously I'm just a noob and I don't really know what I'm talking about. But there you go. Um, so 109,000 feet, out of interest, let's just watch him go because it's fun. Woo! So how fast are we going through the air at the moment? Uh, we're going 600 knots, so we're Mac. Oh, I still can't, I haven't learned to read this gauge yet, but Mac 1.7 or something, something extremely fast. Oh, and now we're definitely going down. Why doesn't it give a sonic boom? I don't think that's recoverable. Um, now, the only thing is, I know what you're going to say, can you go faster if you put your wings out? But the thing is, if we put our wings out, sorry, higher, um, it's, I guess it's going to be more stable, but uh, isn't it good to cause so much drag? So I don't... Uh, it's not going to make any difference, is it? I mean, we're, our engines are stalling out about 100,000 every time we do that, whether we've got our wings out or or deltered. I don't think it's going to make any difference, to be honest. Uh, let me know if you think I'm wrong, and I may certainly be wrong. I usually am, but I don't think that's going to make any difference. Right, um, so we've got some statistics now. Let's go and put them into our chart and have a chat. 
Okay, so final scores are in, and now we're starting to kick ass with the F-14B. Sustained altitude, 100,000 feet. Now, we couldn't really measure it perfectly because it was flaming out, and um, I think every time we try it, we get a slightly different altitude anyway. So, 100,000 feet. Now, the problem is that is so far above anything else. 72,000 feet from a flanker, um, which is a really high altitude plane. So, what is that all about? Is that complete nonsense? Um, have the guys who who made it heat blur got it completely wrong i mean knowing what their, their actual humans are like it's very unlikely but um really a hundred thousand feet anyone any idea doesn't sound right at all to me i mean isn't that above what an sl-71 could do <laughs> don't know <laughs> i'm gonna let you lot sort that out hundred thousand feet flame out <laughs> right and presumably aerodynamically it could have gone <laughs> into space pretty much if we didn't have the flame out so that's crazy but that's what it is you saw it you saw me doing it um and it's sustainable the speed once i got it level at just over 100,000. the speed wasn't going down um instant altitude uh just above the f15c so that's uh well pretty much the same as the f15c i couldn't quite get it realist uh, uh, accurately because uh, i was in external view flying by when i was upside down but i don't think you'd go much higher than that unless uh, there's, a, there's a small argument that can be made maybe if we had our wings open we could kind of U2 our way up there but the problem is that we, if we did that I think we'd have problems with getting the energy in the first place I'm, I'm, well, you might whip the, rip the wings off to go, be, go fast enough to get that height I really don't know but I personally don't think it's uh, uh, even worth trying so that's that uh, really weird don't know someone explain that some guy with a big aviation background and a big brain try and explain why that happens please other than that that's cool i hope that helps next we're going to do climb rate see you later